evening, my name is Michelle Jensen. I'm the school superintendent for Deerfield Community School District. It is a pleasure to be with you tonight to celebrate the 2020 High School Senior Awards Program. Unlike our typical awards night celebrations where we would have limited space for family and friends to attend, we hope that this evening's broadcast will allow friends and family from near and far to join in and take part in celebrating all of our seniors. It is a night to celebrate seniors as they complete their high school career and recognize all of the accomplishments that they have had during their four years. For many of you watching this evening, this may be the last awards program that you attend as a student or as a parent at Deerfield High School. And after 13 years in school, I'm sure you're thinking how fast that time went by. To seniors, we especially wanna thank you for your contributions to our high school during your time here. We know you're looking forward to celebrating graduation together, and we hope to be able to do just that on July 26th, which is our new graduation ceremony date. Regardless of how we come together, the most important message to you is that your contributions and accomplishments are recognized and celebrated wherever you are this evening. Distance does not diminish what you have done or what you have experienced here. You are a class that will go down in the history books, literally. It has been my pleasure to get to know the class of 2020 over the past six years. Their academics, fine arts, service, and sports activities. Their talents are matched by their compassion and service to others. Roger Babson said, keep in mind that neither success nor failure is ever, is ever final. As you conclude this chapter of your life, keep reaching for the stars. At this time, I would like to introduce the members of the class of 2020. Jocelyn Albrecht, Elena Amaro Godoy, Alexis Bassett, Mason Bowen, Brady Campbell, Christopher Doyle, Denise Duarte, Ethan Dunsern, Mackenzie Enright, Zachary Feltz, Sierra Gagliano, Carson Gallup, Alexander Graves, Tyler Hack, Scott Huddleston, Sydney Jackson, Ashlyn Johnson, Kate Kemen, Rachel Cornelson, Billy Lee, Audra Mulch, Jack Mason, Blake Meskey, Kylie Morgan, Aiden Moynihan, Cole Nearing, Amber Ott, Alexander Peterson, Brendan Peterson, Cameron Pratt, Adam Stasek, Matthew Strage, Olivia Tatlock, Odessa Tober, Brooke Veek, Taylor Wild. It is with great pleasure that I begin this evening by recognizing the class valedictorian and salutatorian. These students have challenged themselves academically and they have excelled. As I share with you the level of involvement each of these top students has had throughout their high school career, you will see that they not only excelled in the classroom, but also in many other areas. Through hours of extracurricular participation, both in and out of school, they worked hard to keep their grades at the top. Congratulations to both of these young men for this accomplishment. For our first award of the evening, I would like to recognize Cade Kamen with the 2020 Academic Excellence Scholarship. The Academic Excellence Scholarship was established by the state of Wisconsin to reward its finest students and as an attempt to keep those students from leaving the state in pursuit of education elsewhere. The state asks that the scholarship be awarded to the senior in each high school that has the highest grade point average after seven semesters of high school work. In case of a tie, the school district is asked to apply a tiebreaker policy. In our district, the second step looks at the student's cumulative ACT scores. The Academic Excellence Scholarship has the potential of providing the student with approximately $2,250 a year for up to four years. 
the universities in the state of Wisconsin work hard to attract identified academic scholars to their campuses. Through this criteria, Cade Kamen has been named the Deerfield High School Academic Excellence Scholar as well as the Class Valedictorian. Cade is a member of the National Honor Society where he serves as the president this year and has been active in school clubs all four years, including Academic Decathlon, Forensics, and Art Club. He has also been a student athlete in soccer and track and field. Outside of school, Kate is very busy and has been not only an active member of the Oak Park 4-H, but also served in leadership roles within that organization for many years. Next fall, Cade will be attending the University of Wisconsin Platteville, pursuing an engineering degree. I am pleased to recognize Cade Kamen as our 2020 Academic Excellence Scholar and the Class Valedictorian for his academic excellence throughout his high school career. Cade will receive a valedictorian stole and a medallion to wear with his graduation cap and gown. Congratulations, Cade. We wish you the best at UW Platteville in the fall. Next, I would like to recognize Mason Bone, the class of 2020 salutatorian. Mason has been active in school clubs, including student council and magazine club. He's also been involved in music offerings at school, including choir, show choir, jazz band, marching band, and too many solo ensemble contests to actually state here. Athletically, Mason has participated in soccer and track and field all four years. Outside of school, Mason is part of the Youth Bowling League and sings with the Madison Youth Choir. Next fall, Mason will be attending Marquette University with an interest in pursuing a STEM-related degree in science, math, or technology. I am pleased to recognize Mason Bone as the Class of 2020 Salutatorian for his academic excellence throughout his high school career. Mason will receive a salutatorian stole and medallion to wear with his graduation cap and gown. Congratulations, Mason. We wish you the best. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce our top 10 academic senior awards. These are individuals that have gone above and beyond for the entire four years of their high school career. Congratulations to each and every one of them. Mason Bone, Denise Duarte, Carson Gala, Scott Huddleston, Cade Kamen, Aiden Moynihan, Cole Nearing, Amber Ott, Adam Stasek, Taylor Wild. Congratulations to all of you. It is my honor to present the Superintendent Academic Awards. This award is based on a student's cumulative GPA over the course of seven semesters. That would mean their freshman, sophomore, and junior year, and the first semester of their senior year. The following students have earned the Superintendent Academic Award for a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher. Those students are Alexis Bassett, Mason Bone, Denise Duarte, Ethan Dunsern, Carson Gala, Tyler Hack, Scott Huddleston, Cade Kamen, Rachel Cornelson, Aiden Moynihan, Cole Nearing, Amber Ott, Brendan Peterson, Cameron Pratt, Adam Stasek, Olivia Tatlock, and Taylor Wild. Congratulations to all of these students for their hard work in high school. It is with great pleasure that I present our next scholarship, which is the Wisconsin Technical Excellence Scholarship. The Wisconsin Technical Excellence Scholarship is awarded by the state of Wisconsin to high school seniors who have the highest demonstrated level of proficiency in vocational education coursework. This includes coursework in family and consumer education, business education, and technical education. Students wishing to be considered for this scholarship are ranked based on points accumulated through the grades they earned in these vocational courses over the seven semesters of their high school. 
If there is a tie, the student's high school GPA for vocational courses shall be the first tiebreaker. The scholarship is for use within the Wisconsin Technical College system with a value of $2,250 per year for up to three years, rewarding students for staying in the state to pursue higher education. Based on this criteria, I am pleased to honor Kylie Morgan with the Wisconsin Technical Excellence Scholarship. Kylie obtained 19 points over her four years of high school, which means she took numerous courses from every vocational area. She took many family and consumer education courses, including foods and child and parenting and hospitality careers. In technology education, she took woods, consumer auto, and air-cooled engines, just to name a few. And finally, in business education, she took business law, micro-business applications, and principles of law and safety, which leads to her career interest, actually. I am pleased to announce Kylie Morgan as the Wisconsin Technical Excellence Scholar. Kylie will be attending the Madison College this fall to pursue a degree in criminology. Congratulations, Kylie. At this time, it is my pleasure to announce the Deerfield High School Academic Awards. Academic awards are based on the number of academic points earned by the student each semester and accumulated through their seventh semester. Points are assigned as follows. 3.75 to 4.0 equals three points. 3.5 to 3.74 equals two points. A 3.0 to a 3.49 GPA equals one point. Awards are recognized as follows. An academic certificate is given for six points, level one. An academic school letter for 12 points, level two. A lamp of knowledge pin for 18 points, level three. An academic plaque for 21 points, level four. This year's recipients of academic certi certificates, Jocelyn Albrecht, Alexander Graves, Sydney Jackson. The academic letter, a D, to Brendan Peterson, Cameron Pratt, Olivia Tatlock. Lamp of Knowledge Pin, Alexis Bassett, Ethan Dunsern, Rachel Cornelson, Aidan Moynihan, Cole Nearing, and Amber Ott. The academic plaque and a Lamp of Knowledge Pin, Mason Bone, Denise Duarte, Carson Gala, Scott Huddleston, Kate Kamen, Adam Stasek, Taylor Wild. Other students have previously earned a certificate or a letter during a previous year in their high school career. Hello, my name is Dan Lannon. I am proud to be presenting Matthew Streggy with the Exemplary Academic Award. This award is given to a student who not only shows excellent effort in the classroom, but also displays a positive attitude at school. As Matthew's teacher for the past six years, I'm so proud of all that he has accomplished in school, but especially during his high school career. Through a lot of hard work, Matthew has become an independent worker and student was always willing to try new things no matter how difficult they may seem. This award is given to Matthew to recognize his efforts in learning new skills that will prepare him for his next phase of life as he tr transitions into the workforce. Matthew is a friend to many students and staff in the high school, especially loves playing the drums in band, marching band, and pet band. He could also be found telling a good joke or asking others to tell a joke in the halls on his way to class. He has had the privilege of growing up with his classmates starting at the grade school. And just as importantly, his classmates have learned a lot from Matthew. His upbeat personality and the way he enjoys spending time with everyone is contagious. Matthew, we are so proud of you. Thanks for all that you have taught us over the years. Congratulations on receiving the Exemplary Academic Award for your dedication as a student at Deerfield High School. Hi there, my name is Mr. Wild, and I'm the National Honor Society Coordinator at Deerfield High School. So today I would like to take a moment to honor five amazing students 
our senior members. These students were instrumental in making all of our initiatives happen, from supporting the freshman class with social and academic engagement to community outreach, such as providing for the DCC with the various drives we engaged in this year. While we were not able to accomplish all of the plans that we had, you made a huge impact and you helped to shape the culture of our school. The following students have earned the gold cord to be worn with their graduation cap and gown on the day of graduation to signify their membership in the National Honor Society. These members are Carson Gala, Cade Common, Olivia Tatlock, Amber Ott, and Taylor Wilde. Congratulations to you all. As the coordinator of this group, I'm going to miss your leadership and initiative. However, I am bolstered knowing that you're going to carry the values of scholarship, leadership, service, and character with you on the next stage of your journey. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mrs. George. Each year, Mrs. Colway and I recognize our student council graduating seniors at an award ceremony in May. It is a great time to honor the efforts of students who accomplish much, often behind the scenes. The high school student council's motto is a quote from Gandhi, be the change you want to see in the world. These eight seniors have lived this motto through their efforts in their school community, the community of Deerfield, and beyond. Locally, they have planned and carried out numerous homecoming events, hosted double-digit blood drives for the American Red Cross, and rang bells each December for the Salvation Army's Red Cattle Campaign. It is my privilege to recognize these hardworking seniors now. These graduating members will receive a certificate and pin recognizing their participation in student council. Congratulations to Mason Bone, Ethan Dunsern, Carson Gala, Ashlyn Johnson, Amber Ott, Adam Stazik, Olivia Tatlock, and Taylor Wild. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carrie Schmidt, the high school art teacher. Today I get the opportunity to recognize the seniors and their artistic abilities and accomplishments. Throughout high school, several of the seniors have participated in art club activities and events, like hosting hundreds of elementary students for our annual artist night out. And while our Empty Bowls event got cut short, many helped with the first two workshops, hosting families and community members to a night in the ceramic studio. Thank you to the seniors that have been involved in art club this year, which include Jocelyn Albrecht, Lexi Bassett, Zira Gagliano, Ashlyn Johnson, Kate Kamen, Rachel Cornelson, Audra Malsh, Olivia Tatlock, and Odessa Tober. This year's seniors as eighth graders also contributed to the first ever collaborative art project. If you forgot about it, the Zen Tangled Deerfield Middle School sign is still proudly hanging above the lockers in the middle school hallway. It will remain as an example of your class's talents and ability to work together. A wonderful life skill. The seniors being recognized for an art award have shown leadership in the classroom as well as an art club holding officer positions and a commitment to their love of art by taking independent classes to continue to fit art into their busy schedules. Congratulations to Lexi Bassett and Odessa Tober for your artistic accomplishments and your many contributions to bringing art into our school and community. Seniors, continue to appreciate the beautiful things that surround you. Take time to enjoy something aesthetically pleasing to you. I appreciate your sense of design, the story you communicate visually through your work, your compassion for your work and for others, creatively engaging in problem solving, and the risks you've taken making and sharing your work. Thank you and congratulations. My name is Mindy Hollison. I'm a mortgage lender at Bank of Deerfield. I'm happy to be presenting the Bank of Deerfield Scholarship for 2020. 
Our $1,500 scholarship is based on four areas of achievement and involvement. They are academics, community service, extracurricular activities, and the writing of an essay titled, How Has the Community of Deerfield and Its Schools Influenced Your Career and Your Educational Development? This year, we received applications from 42% of the graduating class, and as usual, found the quality of those applications to be outstanding. As a community, I congratulate all of you on the effort and initiative you have shown to get to this point of your lives. You are a credit to your class and school, and we are honored to have you go out and represent the Deerfield community. Our recipient this year has demonstrated excellence in academics, a host of extracurricular activities, and community service involvement. In their well-written essay, they talk specifically about opportunities taken and challenges overcome with the help and support of Deerfield's community and schools to get to where they are today. Join me in congratulating Bank of Deerfield Scholarship recipient, Mason Bone. Congratulations. At this time, it's my privilege to present the Wings Over Wisconsin Scholarship in the amount of $500. Six area schools receive scholarships from Wings Over Wisconsin Tri-County Chapter, funded by supporter donations. Wings Over Wisconsin organization is dedicated to natural resource preservation and education through youth and community involvement. This year's recipient of the Wings Over Wisconsin Scholarship in the amount of $500 is Ethan Dunsert. Congratulations. My name is Kim Klein, and I am the Scholarship Committee Chair with the Oak Park 4-H. With the support from the University of Wisconsin Extension and substantial parental involvement, local 4-H clubs provide development programs for young people from elementary school through high school with hands-on learning activities in the areas of science, citizenship, and healthy living. The Oak Park 4-H club provides college scholarships to successful and contributing members upon their high school graduation. Cade Kamen has been an active member of the Oak Park 4-H Club for more than 10 years. In that time, Cade has participated in and provided leadership for projects in the areas of dairy goats, chickens, and food and nutrition, just to name a few. He has also held numerous officer positions, including club president, secretary, and treasurer. Cade is often seen giving back to his community through activities such as working the baseball concessions, making holiday pies for the Deerfield Community Center, cleaning up Highway 73, and making cards for veterans. He also has been chosen to be a 4-H camp counselor numerous times. It is my honor to present the 2020 Scholarship Award to Cade Kamen. Congratulations. very blessed to have a wonderful senior class in many high schools around the area. Your exceptional graduate that was a farmhand at Schuster's Farm for four years was Kate Cameron. Kate Cameron has, is receiving a $500 scholarship from Schuster's Farm this year. He was a worker that worked inside and outside. I think that he may have preferred to work outside, but wherever we needed him, Kate always was obliged to our needs. He worked in the bakery, and outside with guests. Congratulations, Kate, and we wish you a wonderful four years at UW Platteville. Good evening. My name is Stephen Holmes. I am honored this evening to present two scholarships on behalf of St. Paul's Liberty Lutheran Church Endowment Scholarship Fund. The fund was established through a gift from Arnold and Genevieve Dahl, because they both believed in the value and the promise of continuing education. This evening we are presenting $2,000 scholarships to be used in the 20, uh, 2020 through 2021 uh, educational year, and the scholarships go to Mason Bohm and Adam Stazak. Congratulations. Hello, 
in the past when we've done this um, presentation live on awards night, we usually have two beautiful plants up in front. And uh, typically in our tradition, at the end of the evening, we would wrap all those two plants off. And we'd like to continue to do that. So um, what we've done, we've done in the past is you have your names in the raffle bucket. And I have the raffle bucket here. And I will proceed to pick two names and we will deliver those plants to your home. And so the two lucky winners are Jocelyn Albrecht. Congratulations, Jocelyn. You'll be receiving a plant. And Jack Mason. Congratulations, seniors. The Deerfield Lions Club welcome the graduating seniors of the Deerfield High School. I'm Dave Dinkle and I'm pleased to represent our club at this presentation. It is more than significant that one of the last lessons of your high school career is to be part of how we all figure out how to adapt to new situations. Hopefully this video attempt is the only time we present the Deerfield Lions Scholarship in this format. Lions Club is an international organization that has provided service and the opportunity to serve throughout the world for over a hundred years. Lions Club members do their work with gifts of time, personal energy, and money with special emphasis on vision issues and environmental concerns. But with about 40 members, the Deerfield Lions Club is always doing projects for the betterment of our local community. These endeavors range from planting trees to hosting the annual Chili Cook-Off Music Festival in the downtown park. See you this fall. And we're always looking for new members. If any of you who are watching this video are interested in joining, we're easy to find. It is a tradition for the Deerfield Lions Club to recognize some graduating seniors for the quality and consistent work they have done throughout their high school careers. This year, the recognition is in the form of a $500 scholarship that is received at the start of the second semester of your higher education. The five recipients are Olivia Tatlock, Mason Bone, Taylor Wild, Ethan Dunsern, and Cade Kamen. Thank you and congratulations to all the class of 2020. Every year, the Deerfield Chamber of Commerce likes to award several scholarships to graduating seniors from Deerfield High School. This year is no exception. We have found three students worthy of scholarships based on a combination of the transcripts they send us and their answers to an essay question of their choice. We have three they can choose from. Each of these students has been awarded a $500 scholarship upon completion of their freshman year in college. These recipients are Adam Stasek, Amber Ott, and Alex Peterson. We congratulate you, Deerfield seniors. I am pleased to announce the Randy Boltman Memorial Scholarship on behalf of the Boltman family. After Randy lost his 17-month battle with leukemia, his family decided to honor his work by providing scholarships for local students. As a small business owner, Randy took on a few high school students over the years for apprentice work in his business B&E Heating and Cooling. He was approached by the principal at that time about helping at-risk youth that needed some direction to fulfill graduation requirements. Randy didn't think twice about helping. Randy was very passionate about his business, being an Air Force veteran, a father of two girls, and a son with disabilities. This year, the Randy Boltman Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 is presented to Cami Pratt. Through the generous donations of family and friends from a recent fundraiser, the family is providing two additional scholarships in the amount of $150 each to Alex Peterson and Brendan Peterson. Congratulations, seniors.
Hello, my name is Ryan Peterson. I am one of the music teachers here at Deerfield High School. I am also the Deerfield Education Association co-president. Today I would like to announce the winner of the Deerfield Education Association Scholarship. This is given this year to a senior class member who is intending to pursue a career in the field of education. This year's DEA scholarship recipient is another Mr. Peterson, but he spells his name wrong. It's Brendan Peterson. Congratulations, Brendan. This scholarship is worth $500. Brendan plans to attend the University of Wisconsin at Whitewater in the fall and pursue a degree in education. He has worked as a mentor at the elementary school over the years, and the staff there loved him as he worked so well with the young kids. So, Brendan, congratulations again, and good luck with your education degree. Hello, my name is Mrs. George. I am one of the co-advisors of Deerfield High School Student Council. Each year, Mrs. Colway and I along with the Deerfield High School Student Council members, organized four blood drives. A total of 135 units of blood were donated in 2019. As a result, the American Red Cross has given us $750 to provide scholarships to our Student Council graduating seniors. This year, Three high school student council members who participated in organizing and working the blood drives throughout their high school careers will receive a $250 scholarship. It is my pleasure to present the American Red Cross Blood Services Young Minds Change Lives High School Scholarships to Amber Ott, Adam Stazik, and Taylor Wild. Congratulations. The Deerfield Education Foundation through the Greater Milwaukee Foundation is awarding three $958 scholarships to Deerfield High School graduates pursuing a college degree. The foundation was established by Tim Mickelson, a former Deerfield graduate who generously contributed to the fund and was hopeful that others would do the same. When Jim, Tim passed away in 2017 from ALS, his, Beth, his wife, Beth, donated an additional $23,000 to the fund. He is remembered today for his commitment to the Deerfield community and his generous spirit. Tim was hopeful that the graduates receiving this award would one day support the communities, charities, and educational institutions that are important to them. The 2020 scholarship recipients are Carson Gala, Amber Ott, and Alex Peterson. Congratulations. Since 2014, with the generous donations from the Jim Jensen Memorial Fund, the Helping Hand Scholarship Fund is able to support eight $500 scholarships this year for seniors. We have numerous youth programs which have been made possible through the generosity of local organizations and community members. Many Helping Hands make our community a great place for kids to learn and grow. The Helping Hand Scholarship honors graduating seniors who have not only participated in many of our community activities, but have also given their talents to others while in high school. Without students who actively participate in both sports and clubs, small schools like ours would be unable to offer and keep the opportunities provided to Deerfield High School students. This year's recipients are Tyler Hack, Cade Kamen, Rachel Cornelson, Amber Ott, Brendan Peterson, Adam Stasek, Olivia Tatlock, and Taylor Wild. Congratulations. Kindness matters. Be kind is a simple phrase with great meaning. It doesn't take much and is the one thing we can all do to make this world a better place. We have all witnessed many of you helping others, supporting your fellow classmates, or just being kind to other people. 
It was with this in mind that the Kindness Matters Award was established. The criteria was simple. The staff was asked to nominate students they believe lives by the mantra, Kindness Matters. There are no strings attached. You do not need to be attending college or post-secondary education. You just need to be kind. The student will receive a monetary award of $250 and their name will be placed on a plaque honoring their achievement. We had many nominations and wonderful comments about the class of 2020. For that, I am grateful and hopeful and proud to be working at Deerfield High School. There was one student, however, that stood out from the rest. Many staff wrote this about Kate Kamen. Kate is always kind, works hard, and is genuine. He is always there to help others when needed. He is truly a great kid. It is with great pleasure that we honor Kate. The Senior Raffle Award. This was established a couple of years ago, so we're going to do it right now. This awards night was established to recognize scholarship and award recipients. In addition, we want to celebrate and honor all of the seniors as they leave Deerfield High School. Please know how much we appreciate all of the wonderful things that you have done for our school. All of the names have been entered into the raffle bucket and two lucky winners will take home a cash award of $25. No strings attached, just a big thank you. But I would suggest that maybe you take somebody out for lunch that has helped you through your educational career. So without further ado, the two recipients of the raffle award, Christopher Doyle, congratulations, Christopher. And Sydney Jackson, congratulations. It is an honor to be here on behalf of my family um, to award the fifth annual John Paul Zine Memorial Scholarship of $500 to two different seniors. Um, and by the way, I am Matt Paul Zine Athletic Director here at Deerfield, as most of you know. Um, as many of you also know, um, my dad, John, or P, as he was known to our students, died unexpectedly on June 7th, 2015. He spent 40 years as a teacher, which he loved, and 30 years as the athletic director. This was his first and only school district. My dad felt that it was important for kids to be involved in school as well as be good students academically. He often was vocal about promoting the multi-sport athlete, especially in small schools, and he would place signs in the hallway showing kids all of the professional athletes who one day had played multiple sports in high school. For my dad, it was never about whether or not an athlete got first place or scored the most points. What was important to him was that the students got involved in a variety of sports, put forth their best effort, and enjoyed doing so. He also talked to many students about the importance of doing well in school and maintaining good grades. He was instrumental in ensuring that Deerfield's athletic code was above the minimum standard because he felt that when students are held to a higher standard, they will rise to the occasion. And they have for many years, which made him very proud of the Deerfield students. <clears throat> um, the Paul Zines as a family have established the John Paul Zine Memorial Scholarship to honor these things, which my dad felt were important to the success of students and the success of the school. The scholarship is open to all seniors who have participated or managed at least two sports each of their four years of high school. And as part of the application process, the students also had to answer the question, what will be your legacy? As many of you know, that was our dad's favorite quote. Um, ironically, little did he know he was building a huge legacy of his own each and every day through his love and passion for education and athletics. We know that he would want each and every senior to leave this school and go on to find a passion or career that will allow them to build a legacy that they can feel proud of. As expected, as with most years in this school where a lot of kids are involved, there were many worthy candidates. So I want to congratulate all the students that did apply for this scholarship. But our two recipients, each of who will be receiving a $500 scholarship, um, the first one is Adam Stazik. And the second one is Carson Gala. Congratulations, Adam and Carson. 
Good evening. I'm Mrs. Coley, the high school English teacher, and I'm here to pre present the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award honors an outstanding young person in the senior class who demonstrates qualities of a good citizen. Chapter award scholarship application essays are received from all Dane County area high schools, and the top three entries are awarded a scholarship. The top entry is then forwarded onto the state competition to be judged among all DAR chapters. Kate Cameron was chosen as the Deerfield High School representative and was awarded third place in Dane County. It was shared that the judges were impressed with Kate's submission and the high level of service he has proven to his community. He previously received his cash award and certificate at a luncheon. Hello, I am Kyle Harnickle, Guidance Counselor at Deerfield High School Middle School. I will be presenting some scholarships here. We've got the Victor E. Albright Scholarship. The Victor E. Albright Trust Scholarship was established in 1939 as a gift to the University of Wisconsin. Candidates must be of good character, of, of fair health, and have spent their junior and senior years of high school in a Dane County public high school and be enrolled at the University of Wisconsin for the fall semester. This year's recipient is Taylor Wild. At this time, we'll have our Senior Music Award recognitions. The following awards were previously announced by Mr. Peterson and Mrs. Lang. We would like to recognize the following students once again for their accomplishments in our choir and band programs. The John Philip Souza Award was presented to Carson Gala. Louis Armstrong Jazz Award was presented to Alexander Graves. The Band Merit Award was presented to Matthew Strike. The National School Choral Award was presented to Alexis Bassett. The Outstanding Show Choir Member Award was presented to Taylor Wild. Choir Merit Award was presented to Brendan Peterson and Rachel Cornelson. The following students received plaques in band and or choir for participating for seven to eight semesters. In band, Mason Bone, Ethan Dunsern, Carson Gala, Alexander Graves, Sydney Jackson, Aidan Moynihan, Cole Nearing, Amber Ott, Adam Stasek, Matthew Strage, and Olivia Tatlock. For choir, Jocelyn Albrecht, Alexis Bassett, Mason Bone, Denise Duarte, Zachary Feltz, Carson Gala, Alexander Graves, Sydney Jackson, Rachel Cornelson, Kylie Morgan, Amber Ott, Brendan Peterson, Matthew Strage, Olivia Tatlock, and Taylor Wild. Congratulations. The following students have received academic or athletic scholarships from the college or university they will be attending in, in the fall in recognition of their academic, athletic, or artistic accomplishments. Pair Marquette Scholarship, 23000 a year, awarded to Mason Bone for his academic excellence and continued education. Pair Marquette Scholarship, 18000 a year, awarded to Denise Duarte for her academic excellence and continued education. Carroll University Presidential Scholarship, 16000 a year, awarded to Ashlyn Johnson for her academic excellence and continued education. Sun Prairie VFW Youth Scholarship, $100 awarded to Odessa Tober for her success throughout high school and continued education. Edgewood College Access Scholarship, $4,000 a year awarded to Odessa Tober in recognition of academic excellence and continuing education. Edgewood Scholarship Presidential Edgewood College Presidential Scholarship awarded to Zachary Feltz for his academic excellence and continued education. Edgewood College Fine Arts Scholarship in Music awarded to Zachary Feltz for his success throughout high school, involvement in music, and continued education. 
Edgewood College Aspiring Writer Scholarship awarded to Zachary Feltz for his success through high school, throughout high school, interest in writing and continued education. The Bryant and Stratton Softball Scholarship awarded to Olivia Tatlock for academic success, success on the field and continuing education. UW Platteville Merit Scholarship, $1,000 awarded to Cade Kamen for academic success and continuing education. Lakeland University Presidential Scholarship awarded to Carson Gala for his academic excellence and continued education. UW Madison Cynthia and Roger Gullickson Great People Scholarship $1,000 awarded to Taylor Wilde for her academic excellence and continued education. Wisconsin Realtor Foundation Realtors Children Scholarship, Children College Scholarship, $1,000 awarded to Taylor Wilde for her success throughout high school and continued education. Congratulations to everyone. At this time, I will be presenting the Trailways Conference Academic All-Conference Team Awards. This program is designed to recognize students that excel in the classroom. For a student to be recognized as an Academic All-Conference recipient, they must meet the following guidelines. Completed four semesters in high school and maintained a 3.5 GPA. Must have met one of the following scores prior to March 1st of the year awarded a score of 156 or above on the PSAT, combined score of 1150 or above on the SAT, a composite score of 25 or above on the ACT. The Deerfield recipients this year, Alexis Bassett, Mason Bone, Ethan Dunsern, Carson Gala, Scott Huddleston, Kate Kamen, Aiden Moynihan, Cole Nearing, Amber Ott, Adam Stasek, and Taylor Wild. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Matt Balzine, the athletic director here at Deerfield High School, and I have a couple of different awards to present tonight to our senior student athletes. The first one being the WIAA Scholar Athlete Award. Annually, uh, the WIAA lets each school choose one male and one female student athlete um, to give this award to, and then they go into a pool where um, a handful of statewide winners are selected. The minimum requirements for this award are that you have to have at least a 3.0 GPA and have lettered in at least four varsity sports, and this is all through the end of your winter um, season as a senior. So it's an award that definitely tries to acknowledge somebody who has not only excelled in the classroom, but also in sports. And so this year, our, our two winners, um, after help from our varsity coaches, um, they generally give me some, some input in helping select these award winners. Our male winner this year was Adam Stasek. And our female recipient was Olivia Tatlock. So congratulations to both Adam and Olivia on receiving the 2020 WIAA Scholar Athlete Award for Deerfield High School. The next set of awards, awards that I'm gonna present are our four-year athletic plaques. And so we'd like to recognize all seniors who have participated in a sport for all four years of high school, showing that dedication and commitment throughout their high school career to various athletic teams. All right, so a fairly lengthy list with this year's senior class. Um, I'll read the name of the student and then also the sports that they participated in for the entire four years. Mason Bone, soccer and track and field. Chris Doyle, basketball and baseball. Denise Duarte, Volleyball and Wrestling. Ethan Dunsern, Soccer and Track and Field. Zach Feltz, Soccer. 
Carson Gala, soccer and baseball. Alex Graves, football. Tyler Hack, football, basketball, and baseball. Sydney Jackson, football, wrestling, and track and field. Cade Kamen, soccer and track and field. Rachel Cornelson, cross country and track and field. Blake Meske, baseball. Kylie Morgan, volleyball. Aiden Moynihan, soccer. Cole Nearing, soccer and basketball. Amber Ott, Volleyball. Brendan Peterson, Track and Field. Adam Stasek, Soccer and Track and Field. Matthew Strigi, Track and Field. Olivia Tatlock, Volleyball and Softball. and Taylor Wild Volleyball and Spirit Squad. So congratulations to those four-year athletic award winners out of this year's senior class. Congratulations to the class of 2020 for your accomplishments. For those students who receive scholarship certificates this evening, you'll be receiving the scholarship information at the end of the school year with further instructions included with each scholarship. Thank you for watching the Senior Awards program this evening. We hope that you will join us in congratulating all of the seniors in the graduating class of 2020. Their contributions and efforts over the past four years have made them excellent role models for our underclassmen. Congratulations, seniors. Congratulations as well to our parents, and good night. As our evening draws to a close, we hope you've enjoyed the program, but more importantly, we hope that you have enjoyed learning about the many accomplishments of the students of the 2020 graduating class from Deerfield High School. We are so proud of all of them, and we know this is a very unconventional time. We know that you are watching this from home when you really hoped that you would be here at school. We know that you are not able to be with friends as much as you had hoped. We know that you're missing spring sports and spring music activities, all of those honors. But in all of that that you're missing, I want to remind you again, it does not diminish who you are and what you've accomplished here. It makes this a very memorable experience. We hope for you a very memorable graduation season. So congratulations once again. Thank you for joining us. Have a good night. Following students have earned the super, superintendent. This scholarship is for use within the Wisconsin Technical Technical College system with a value of walk out. Hello, I am. It is my privilege to recognize these members. Cut, different one. <sighs> the subsequent tiebreakers would consider whether the student has taken any technological courses. Tiebreaker. The subsequent tiebreakers would consider whether the college student. Hi, I'm Mrs. Colway, the English teacher at the high school, and I'm here to pronounce. <laughs> Chapter Award Scholarship Applications.
It is a great time to honor their efforts. Cut. It is with great pleasure that I present our next scholarship, which is the Wisconsin It is with I am pleased to award Kylie Morgan with the Wisconsin Technical College System Scholarship. Kylie has obtained 19 points. Oh, third time's a charm. We've got the Victor E. Albright Scholarship. The Victor E. Albright, Albright Trustee, uh, the Victor E. <laughs> we'll start over, take two. Hello. I hope that you enjoyed recognizing and honoring all of our classes school, and for our seniors and we are so all of them we want to let them know how special they are and we appreciate yeah I think I screwed up the one there Congratulations. So congratulations once again. Thank you for joining us. Have a good night.